Yo, welcome to episode 137 of Crash Homies Podcast. I'm here with Michael Angelo. We're not here with, we're just here together. Key Batsy. <laughs> Key Batsy. And it's your boy, Patricio from the Nicio. Oh Hell God. no That, that boy want to be Hispanic good. so bad I, <laughs> <can't affect laughs> Spanish. I just like I just want 25% Yeah I do Sometimes like yeah. When I went to Mexico It's like damn I wish I, was, I had a little Mexican in me Just so I can smoke A Virginia cigarette And be like <laughs> <laughs> No I don't want to be Mexican Because they talk Super No is it Puerto Ricans Or Mexicans that talk fast I think it's Puerto Ricans I think anybody in general hey. Talks no, fast No 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 It's an actual, it's actual thing I like, feel like your brain Was in good condition Before it came <laughs> I don't want you Fucking it up Before you leave No y'all niggas Slow, bro. Puerto Ricans <laughs> talk fast. <laughs> Mexicans talk slower. In Spanish. That's we how started, it works. We started the podcast off with stereotypes. <laughs> It's a fact. <laughs> what? Look it up. Look it up. Look I, it up. There's no. I swear to God, right. I won't find any of that on Google. I don't know if you can Google that shit. <laughs> talking about some ungoogleable shit. Because who talks lat- faster between Mexicans <laughs> and Puerto Ricans? You look like you look like the type of the type of whole sentence that Google would be like. Come on now <laughs> They don't even know Nah I do do that How many times You typed in Google And got zero results You know that's Probably like, like Three or four times <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep it a bean I'll keep it a bean I Sometimes I get this I spell something Completely Google wrong I don't know no. where Google is so advanced yeah, now. They'll give you something. If you get zero results. Did you mean this instead? Yeah, exactly. If you get zero results, you are a dumbass. Hell no. Google just ain't made for real niggas. That's what it boils down Hell to. Hell no. That means you can't spell something so fucking bad. It ain't about spelling. It's just about it not knowing. What, what did I'm you Google that there was no answer for? I can't even remember. <laughs> it probably was something porn related. <laughs> it might have been. I don't, I don't know. I ain't gonna lie. Talk about uh, lady in hotel hat on red bandana. <laughs> no, Dork. which is crazy. Oh, make sure we three fourteen. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> I'm leaving the whole beginning. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, yeah, 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 but that's crazy though. Anyway, welcome to Crash Tony's <laughs> podcast. Make sure you guys subscribe to the Patreon. A new episode just dropped on Monday. Uh, stream Keys Music. Um, what else should you do? Subscribe to the YouTube. Rate us on Apple and Spotify and wherever else we got. One Man, thing. Don't else- forget to share our stuff. <laughs> keep oh, yeah. sharing our yeah, stuff. Yeah, keep sharing it. I feel like a lot of like even we are getting like oh we're you know we're out there but we can definitely use another push yeah. and obviously that comes from you guys i know you guys like gatekeeping us and stuff like that <laughs> I that but was just- hey Okay. That sounded so bad at first. It did. No, no, don't worry about it. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Say how you said Oh, it. make sure you guys also follow us on our personal accounts too. Just follow the Crash Dummies account, then you'll see obviously who we follow on there too. Um, what was I about to say? Oh, Uber Pool. That used, that was a crazy time. They don't do that anymore. Nah, I don't what think the so. Fuck is that? Hell, no. I Uber, to- Uber Pool. Uber Pool is when they you can. Call an Uber, right? And it'll meet you at a spot. But the two other or three other people can also take that same uh, it'll be Uber. Cheaper. As you. It'll be able to be cheaper. So an expensive bus? It'll yeah, be- it's like a private bus, it has, yeah. essentially. I wouldn't want to do that. Three other randoms? <laughs> In a car. Bro, that shit happened to me. I didn't think it. I didn't know anything about it. And I was uh, on Uber. I was in, sh- in Chicago. <laughs> I'm like, what? Damn, this shit half off. Mm-hmm. I'm about to click this. First of all, I got picked up in something that probably barely qualified for Uber. Yeah. Fucking car. It was tight. It was like a fucking Ford Taurus or some shit. Mm-hmm. So getting this, bitch. You know it's old <laughs> when you got to swear so much. Roll go down the windows. It's just my lingo. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Man, <laughs> that nigga said roll the window down. Roll the window down like that. That's how old the car is. He was is. in an 85 Cadillac. Right, some type shit. Uh-huh. So, this dude pull up. It's already a woman in there. So, like, I get uncomfortable around women in tight space because I know they're uncomfortable. Yes. <laughs> and I know I'm about to sidetrack so hard from the story. More of the story is I got in with a weird ass nigga at the end. He smelled like fucking sardines. <laughs> but going back to like being like with just a woman in a tight space, like, yeah. if I ever at the studio and take an elevator with one of the uh, women that are here and stuff like that. I'd be more nervous than them. I'd be so nervous for no like, reason. Yeah, I'd be scared as hell. I'd be like, hell no, because I don't want you like. I'm like, to I'd be like, what can I? In my head, if I'm in an elevator with another woman, right? Mm-hmm. I'm like, what can I do to like not make myself look creepy and shit? You can't, bro. Because you <laughs> immediately like, interpret it. As, as a guy, if a woman is walking fast away from you, just let her go, bro. <laughs> Obviously, you about 
about to miss the elevator <laughs> and she about to take the elevator up, but it gives her way more peace. You can wait a couple more seconds. I'm not gonna lie, there's been, gr- there's been one time there's, there's been one time I chased after that elevator. I was no, like, no, I, I saw I saw That's her move. I was like, nah, the hell no. It's only one elevator in this Man, bitch too. A girl did that to me here, boy. I was so fucking hot yeah. <laughs> because I was gonna let her go up by herself. Mm-hmm. But it was just the fact that you were sprinting so far away from me. <laughs> I didn't even see you go in the elevator. We yeah. got off the car the same yeah. time. You don't even hold the elevator. <laughs> That's, That's the what's the pettiest part. You be outside, they be right there. Don't hold the elevator. No, I'm not gonna lie. Is, but the thing is, for like the thing is for what's what's fucked up. Y'all about to think that, I'm assholes for this. Go ahead. But that's the thing that white women can get away with. Because if it's a black woman, I'm just like, oh, she didn't want to be on with a guy. She's scared. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. But if it's a white woman, she could technically be racist. Yeah. Like, I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not letting this nigga on the same Bro, fucking elevator as me. There was somebody trying to get into the studio uh, building yesterday. But it was like, let me tell you, it was like five people in like big ass coats, right? And they had like bags and shit on the on the ground. Homeless and people. you know our studio thing, or like the electronic way to get in, yeah. it's not working. So I think they were still trying to get in. So they saw my car pull in to the garage. And I was just, it was like 11 o'clock at night. I looked and I was like, I went up the, I went up the stairs. I would have did that. I'm then not it, lie. I didn't go through Because I knew if I passed up, they are going to start knocking on the window for me to let them oh, in. Oh, you went up the stairs yeah. so they couldn't see you. You a hoe. No, like, you nigga. definitely a hoe. <laughs> you never know. That's some hoe ass shit. That that's nigga snuck up the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> now there was one time this dude was walking. And it was cold as hell outside. This dude was walking fast uh, behind me after yeah. I had already buzzed in. And I'm like, damn, I should hold the door open, but I got to see if he got his key. Yeah, exactly. So I let that bitch close, but I saw he was taking out a physical key. Yeah. So I hurry up and hit the elevator. Yeah. Like, Tease, nigga. <laughs> That's the thing about it is just like I saw that many people. I'm like, not all y'all don't have y'all key to get in. Right. Here. Something is going on. Oh, going and upstairs. I don't want to be part of this. Exactly. They want upstairs to jump a girl. Yeah. <laughs> You let five girls in to jump another And then girl. I knew if I let you in, then we all got to get into the same elevator. Mm-hmm. Now I'm in close quarters with five people at 12 o'clock at midnight. I was leaving the studio with Key one day, and some girl jumped in the elevator thinking, like, nobody was in there. Because yeah. more than likely for our elevator, there's not that many people that live in And yeah. it's a tall building. Mm-hmm. So there's not that many people that live in here for us to have, like, a, this many floors. Yeah. Like, it's very spacious. So she probably thought... Probably 90% of the time she takes that elevator, there's nobody on it. Mm-hmm. Maybe even more than that. Yeah. So she hopped on full rope, like, everything. Like, her feet were fucking wet, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah, I do Cause remember. Because she, oh, yeah. she had to go let some people in. <laughs> and she was like, oh, my God, I'm She's so like, sorry. Oh, my God, I'm so sorry. And I just like. <laughs> <laughs> nah, going out in the rope is crazy, you though. You can tell she building. was halfway through her bath. And it was still a little. <laughs> 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 it was marinating. Uh, I know you, I know your bath looked like uh what's that shit they dip tacos in? <laughs> Maria? Yeah. Maria. Casame. That's what's called Casame. <laughs> like, I know. No, no. What's wrong? Hey, last time we tried to question uh Keys uh Spanish. Every time you all question Mexican, me. Not every time, but no, literally about, every time about, about Spanish. About anything Latin, he's been right. I'm not gonna lie. Exactly. We gotta we gotta leave it alone. No, de- no, hundred percent. <laughs> Come on, no, don't talk everything. that shit. Literally no, 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 every not everything. Spanish thing, no, but yeah, everything. Yeah. Thing? No, no, not everything. Yeah, not for everything. sure. But Latin, yes. Probably like so. If you count like the Latin stuff is twenty five percent. Not hell no. We can count the Latin stuff is probably like thirty, and then what, we can count whatever, the, no, 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 whatever, the fact checking. Listen, listen. Whatever percentage you put on that Latin shit, that's the percentage that you're right. Because after that, I'm not, definitely right. You can. We go through the comments. They be like. This nigga keep be writing. Pat and Mike just be hating. Right. And then I see five other comments after that. Like, I think this nigga's stupid as fuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is they stupid too. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you always putting yourself in the be stupid thing? You because, can't. Man, I hate when people say I, two. You got to leave people out the loop, man. I'm really intelligent. No, no. Smart, we know that. But. You just say some dumb you gotta, shit sometimes. You got to be out the loop. Yeah. It's to throw, throw you off. Throw who off? Why you I throw, throw I don't us know. off? You, you don't trust us? who watching. What's your, like, what's your goal here? My goal where? Like, when you throw me off, like, let's say <coughs> we, we playing the game, right? Which we do. Oh, like, wait, no. I don't throw, try to throw y'all off. That's childish. I know. That's how we know that you just be saying some dumb shit sometimes. Right. Yeah. So I don't throw y'all off. What are y'all talking about? You just said to throw you off. This is the only to place. To throw we... you off, I'm talking to the listeners. Oh, got it. What's well, up with y'all? Yeah, no, I know you say stuff on purpose. Yeah. But everything's not on purpose. Seventy five percent. Key in percentages, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, no, no, no. Why they on um? Oh, go ahead. 
Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> no, you know the worst thing that I went through? It was terrible in college, mostly. Mm-hmm. When you get around a dude, and instead of, like, the dude talking about, like, damn, you know, we got classes. We play football. Um, we got all this stuff going on, extracurricular activities around campus. And the only thing he do every time y'all link up is show you every girl that he either about to talk to, he talks to, or that he done with. Mm-hmm. And just be like, look at her. She bad as fuck, huh? Yeah. yeah. Yep, yep. Had her right there. Where you sitting at? Mm-hmm. Busting them cheeks down right where you sitting at. <laughs> hey, I, ain't I saw that, that one dude uh, post that too. The Bernard dude. Yeah, the Bernard dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, Side note, I didn't know he's still making content. But yeah, there are some dudes that always trying to like um show off in a sense like that. It's like, bro, why are you showing me this? Like, like, <laughs> especially like do you remember, especially in college, it was those friends be like, oh bro, this girl, look at this girl giving me head. Like, bro, why do you first of all, why do you have this recording? One of my phone? friends just <laughs> hosted on his Snapchat. Yes, I saw the same thing. <laughs> For the OnlyFans party? No, no, bro. But it was just like a girl like a, a girl, girl giving, giving him, him head. head. It's like I bro. think that shit lame as hell. And then he was and like, Oh, she tried and then he messaged he messaged me. I don't know if he messaged you. He said, my bad, bro, for you seeing that, bro. I'm like, bro, you good, bro. He's like, and he kept trying to explain to me the story about, like, what was happening. Like, nah, bro, you good. Like, I, What was his explanation? He's <laughs> like, she tried to expose me, something like that. He's like, then he's like, uh, how I got out the conversation, he was like, uh, oh, I'm, y- y'all should let me talk about it on the pod, bro. I was like, word, word, bro. <laughs> Just left it yeah, at that. Like, <laughs> why do you want to talk about freaky shit on the pod? If, he, if That's crazy if he got exposed that way. <laughs> That's insane work. That's crazy. Like she grabbed his phone and then posted. I just don't get it. I though. just wanted to IQ with a girl. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, you know, like you know, this look bad on YouTube. Yeah. Right? Like whatever. Some of them don't be caring. Some of them be trying to show themselves off, or they just take. They just want to take the person down, yeah. no matter what. I saw a video of Jamal Murray, somebody on the sideline, saying, "I saw you," and the fan was screaming at him, like trying to heckle him. Mm. I was like. I saw your girl giving you head. I mean, yeah, I no, I saw your girl giving a uh, head on the internet, like trying to heckle him, right? Yeah. But my thought process is like she was giving him head. And not, that's his girl. <laughs> that's so his, that was his girl. Why are you oh, why using are you mad? <laughs> I would just turn around like nigga, she you watched me getting <laughs> you watched me getting my, my Like, did you like it? <laughs> that's so weird, bro. Man. People be heckling at the NBA game sometimes and then they get defensive when the players like no, they actually for talk about purposes. Obviously, they're gonna sue them. I mean, no, 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 no. It's just it, that they, you see them like shrivel up and shit. Like, get yeah, shook I mean, a little it's bit. The same thing we go through. Yeah, like, I said shrivel up after. Yeah. Shrivel up, up is it's crazy. crazy. Oh man, that's <laughs> insane. Shrivel up is crazy. That guy's freaky. You see how niggas dick let little. I'm a grower, not a shower. <laughs> 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 nah, but um, did you get that joke that late, Key? <laughs> the grower, not a shower. Yeah. You talking about when I said it, right? No, when he said it. Oh, that's why I was laughing. But I get what you're saying. You said it on Patreon. I said it on Patreon? Oh, my <laughs> fucking God. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> niggas, wait a minute. I, I said swear. it on Patreon? I God, swear. Niggas, he be in two I different swear. places. It's been two different places. Y'all that be shit, in two different that places. That shit be making me. Y'all look, don't look. be understanding what I'm saying. Y'all bro, be in two different correct. places. No, that Say shit it, be no, making no. me high out of nowhere. Say, bro. No. <laughs> Say that last line again. What last one? You said. Oh yeah, that, I, I repeated if it was on Patreon. No, 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 no. You said y'all <laughs> he didn't don't. Even say that. I did repeat that. He said, "Say the last line again." <laughs> line, my last line was that was on Patreon. That was my last. No, line. your last line is like y'all don't be understanding what I'm saying. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> oh, I didn't know he was talking about that. But that's the problem, though. <laughs> If two, if you're talking to an audience and the two niggas don't understand what you're saying, <laughs> it's your fault. Or y'all ain't smart like me. <laughs> I think it's, 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 it's different, you know, interpretations of English because technically English is. A Bro, broken we just had English. a five minute conversation about so, nothing. But no, just think about it. English is a broken English, so there's no right way to speak English. So you guys aren't <laughs> interpreting shit that I say. That's on you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nigga think he's Shakespeare and shit. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Are you tired of getting spam phone calls and like spam messages? Because I know I am. I get almost hundreds of spam, especially text messages. Just spam text messages. I don't know if the camera can see right here, but thanks to today's sponsor, Aura, that can all be fixed. I mean, the reason that they have your number is because data brokers are making tons of money giving your information out 
to people that want to know where you at and maybe even where you live. Yeah, because I'm used to getting those emails from these companies that um, I gave my email to saying there's been an account breach and there's been another breach. And there are some websites that actually sell your information as well. So, Or you can identify data brokers exposing your info and submit opt-out requests on your behalf. Brokers are legally required to remove your info if you ask them, but they are super hard to do. That's why you have to let Aura handle it for you. Aura makes it really easy to set it up so you don't have to have different apps. You can either continue to let the data brokers expose your information or you can click the link in our description where Aura will give you a two week free trial where you can try it out risk free. Again, the link in our description and thank you to Aura for sponsoring this video. Uh, people are mad at Lil Nas X. Rightfully so. Uh, for he apologize. Somewhat apology. Did he? Yeah. I think he does this all the time, though. Yeah. yeah, he did the Satan thing. Like, right? he does the, the. But it's it's a difference between praising Satan and bashing and, like, mocking, just, uh, mocking Jesus. Jesus. That's a way different. Mm -hmm. You see those people all the time. Like, I'm a demon, 666. Yeah. Some people even, like, do the Illuminati stuff. Like, yeah, because you're praising something. I can't tell you what to praise. But yeah. now you're bashing something I believe in. And then that's what, obviously, Kai Sinat got roped in. Yeah. When he, like, kind of spoke out against it. I think it's just him pushing that narrative, his, like, his own narrative too I mean, because that's, that's how you got famous because a lot of the, the things like a lot of like there'll be a lot of like people that claim they're christian in his comments as well saying mm -hmm. um stop being gay yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know the shit it's like a, that it's a lot of dudes why are you dude, gay it's, it's a lot of dudes mad at Lil Nas X because he had them singing that they want to ride a horse and yeah. <laughs> so they got disrespected yeah so i think that's his that might be his way of kind of like fighting back in a sense i don't i don't agree with it but I'm just trying to see it from like both ends of yeah, the. Yeah, you try to see it from his perspective. And he's also been just that's just he likes to do like those edgy stuff oh, too. That's what yeah. right after that he always posts a song or something like that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I mean it was the thing about the funny marketing. thing that could be about this it could be a whole bunch of marketing in this way and then when every the music comes out it has nothing to do with any of it. Yeah, <laughs> that's very true. They say nothing when the music comes out. I'm just saying it could like the whole album or whatever he's doing them song could not yeah, be I'm sure or it could be like a more of a personal thing of like his his battle with like uh with his faith and stuff like that being a gay person. Yeah, I'm it, I'm sure I'm sure that he's he's coming out with something. And it's I'm something. Sure, and it, and it's like Lil Nas X <laughs> is like it's hard to be relevant. Mm -hmm. the, like the internet moves People don't realize like the internet moves like a like if you imagine everything on a timeline. Mm. The internet only stops by you for so long and then it's gonna leave you eventually, no matter who you are. Yeah. Right? So you look at us, it's like and you just keep building that floor. Mm -hmm. You just be like, okay, my new floor is uh, we reached a million accounts. I know it's never going to drop by that. Yeah. The internet will be back. And then you keep building your core fans. Mm -hmm. So that's what like Lil Nas X is trying to do. Yeah. He's trying to build that like next timeline where the internet stops by him. He gets some more core fans, and then he knows the internet is going to leave again. So that's why you see, like, all the Blueface. Look at Blueface and Krishan. We haven't heard about them in a minute. Yeah, I haven't. The internet will be back. Until we want, until they make us here. He will just us. get fatigued. Like, mm -hmm. what we do, like, in America, we make somebody famous, build them up, build them up, and then be like, how can we tear him down? Yeah. It's kind of like the Kai Sinat thing. It's just mm -hmm. like, how can we tear? People have been trying to tear down Kai Sinat for mm -hmm. a minute. That shit's so lame. They, like, they want him gone. Yeah, like, I think a lot of the what older they don't heads, know, What they don't know about streamers is that they're unstoppable. Mm -hmm. One, they're unstoppable because their fan base is super young and, mm -hmm. their, and their fan base technically doesn't have to spend money to support them. Yeah. The company will just pay for the engagement. So now their fan base is super young and their fan base already believes what they believe. So, like, when, how are you going to cancel somebody where I'm not, like, I love Kai Sinat, but I haven't, I've literally never watched one of his live streams. I was going to talk to him about like something a, about that. But I'm still, like, a, like a fan of Kai Sinat. Because you know? he a, a, seem like a cool dude. Yeah, you see him cool dude. You see him start from the bottom, grind his way up. Like, you hear the cool He stories. was just, there was a thing I saw about him just literally today. Oh, when he was saying, oh, here it is. I don't know who thinks and believes that I make content for kids, but you're dumb as shit if you think I'm making content. I make co the content that I make is for me and other grown ass niggas, bro. If kids tune in, you gotta call their parents, gang. That ain't me. That's what I be talking. You can't blame me. If kids is tuning in, also, nigga, if you do your fucking research, you dumb bitch, type in content on Twitch, nigga. Click on my stream and, and see if it warns you to be 18 plus to 
I, I get what he was saying. I don't know the full context of what was said before, yeah. but I understand he said he doesn't make contact for kids, but a lot of kids do watch him. That's everything. Yeah. Bro. That's always been anything. It's like that with video games, yeah. movies, TV shows. I, I think, a, I I think a, like, I like a, you, like I you said. I was a fan of Pinky when I was 14. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shout out Pinky, man. Was I, if she knew 14-year-olds was watching her, do you think she would be like, oh, I want 14-year-olds to watch me too? She'd be like, oh, hell no. No. But it's, I do think people know that they do. Yeah, like I know, but they're not specifically making content. Like I know that. Get you, get you. I, get I, you, get I you. know that kids watch our Would You Rather's, mm-hmm. right? But I would never come in here and sit down and just be like, "Oh, Mike, we got to get the younger crowd. What would you rather? Can we come up?" Like, no, yeah. we're trying to do, like, have people from like the age, you know, like college and up. Basically, mm-hmm. we're not worried about no damn. Like people that's like anytime somebody a fan of us in middle school would be like hell no nah. <laughs> like I used to like, there was a couple people have, yeah yeah we always ask them that like yeah. fuck no nah, we don't want you watching our show mm-hmm. like if you not if you in high school right now listen to this and they pay attention to class, <laughs> half the high schoolers that even that have called into the show they be in school when they're calling but, <laughs> but but it's not maybe they're at some you know some kids just like live in that type of household where yeah. they like have to mature a little bit earlier so. And hey. that's what I was saying before. I was saying that, uh, I think I said this in the previous pods, that I feel like our generation and, like, the generation below us are more, like, like common themes because of the internet type right. of thing. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. back then, like, we it's like, you didn't know what you didn't know. Like, the, I didn't even know what was in the back of the movie, uh, the movie's place. Like, the block, blockbusters and the home um, family oh, yeah, video yeah, stuff. Yeah, like, yeah. they had, like, the porn and stuff like that in the yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never knew about that. There's no, there's there's nothing. There's These kids, just, they didn't know everything. I mean, they just ask if you're 18 and ask you to click a button. Yeah, exactly. Like, all right, you 18. <laughs> and the internet's a lot more popular from. So, like, yeah, guys. like, but again, that's how we can like the same things. Like, I, w- I don't think, like, if this was before the internet, I wouldn't, anybody, obviously, catch that, but the, would, with no internet, but me, like, being a fan of Kai and a, uh, uh, eight year old being a fan of Kai, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So I feel like a lot of his stuff are like a lot more common now in sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It, comedy is comedy now. Mm-hmm. People like the, the comedy is getting darker. Like, yeah, as you see, because you as you see, like comedians keep trying to like take it to the next level, and then we reel them back in. Like, yeah. nah, 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 nah. And then we get like everybody gets like soft and like yeah. Everybody like, oh no. I think a lot much. of people. I think a lot of people <laughs> are just tired of like that. Everybody complaining about something. Yeah, I think I've started to see that crowd. Like, bro, just leave it. Like, people yeah. just be complaining to complain. Yeah. I think people literally make an issue that has nothing to do with them, or it's not affecting their day to day stuff, and they make it an issue to make it about them. Yeah, and like there, there's some people that don't believe in shit, <laughs> but they believe in not this shit. Yeah, exactly. They're like, hey, I ain't got nothing I actually believe in. <laughs> But I don't think y'all should be praising Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> you, you got, what you believe in? Nigga, yeah. nothing. But I, don't, I know you wrong. Yeah. So that nigga that's telling you that's wrong, like, yeah, that's a wrong answer. Okay, then what's the answer, nigga? Or people that, like, post things and they're not actually trying to make that change, like, physically. Yeah. Oh, yeah about like, themselves or I, in that community. Like, New Year's resolutions, <laughs> Yo, like when them. they post those, that shit is so lame, bro. I, I hate when people put their resolutions or goals out there for people to see because... That to me that means that you're trying to get other people's support to do it. So are you doing it for other people or are you doing it for yourself? Mm. But so I think sometimes people like to do that as an accountability thing. For too. sure. Um You put it out there. You put it out there so like but the thing about it is that I don't remember. So it's like somebody be like my New Year's resolution is to lose 60 pounds this year, and then he looks the same. I'm not going to remember that he said that that's last year. That's what I'm year. saying. When I tell you what you do remember, <laughs> if, you got if, bigger? It's some, if it's somebody that's really fat and they say that, <laughs> you hold them accountable. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's somebody that I know that said he was going to play semi-pro football, and he still, he stepped on that field. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. I don't, I don't know. I'm just saying, like, mm-hmm. when somebody has, like, weird goals, like, I'm going to do this, then you start watching them. Like, yeah, exactly. If I put on my goal, like... I'm gonna be a multi-millionaire by the end of this year. Yeah. Everybody gonna be like, "All right, we holding you to it." But people do be hating when you do. That's what I was just gonna say. They definitely hate because I mean, that's the, even, part of it though. Even in college, I never said I never put out loud that I wanted to make it to the NFL. Like I never said that. It's mm-hmm. just like it just happened, right? And look how you got. And then there. when it when it was happening, like when like the rumble started happening, that's when people started to hate, making it seem like that's what I even put out there. It's just like it just was out there that mm-hmm. I was going to NFL team. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? Because <laughs> you said what I did to have to get there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what I said? Yeah. I know what you were saying. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Oh! That nigga might be horny. 
<laughs> what the fuck, bro? Because you when you pause them, because you wouldn't know. I wasn't pausing them. I was just like, I wasn't oh no real pause. So what's up with the pause, man? There was no. We pause need a chart of pauses because sometimes I be thinking y'all pausing me and y'all don't even be pausing me. Yes, that's called. You got PTSD. Yeah, <laughs> PTSD for sure. <laughs> Brian, me and Pat be on the game and he be saying something. No, I say something, be like pause. pause. Pat be like, you ain't got to pause that. I, 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 that's how I told him. I ain't paused you in probably a month, bro. No, definitely not because I've been scared. No, you just, you I've been saying so pause, pause to my mom. No, that's crazy. I've been nah. saying pause to my grandmother. No, that's crazy. Nah, he changed this nigga's life, Pat. Uh, nothing. <laughs> I can't say shit without hearing Pat say pause. Granny talking about key. Come break. Come break Granny back in real quick. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's extremely pause. Not gonna pause my grandpa. <laughs> regardless, about the massage drama. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. crazy. <laughs> that's insane. That's a weird. That's not even a pause. It's just some. Cra- that's a weird category you got there. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's definitely some categories I would judge somebody off of. What's up with? Did we talk about this on Patreon? It don't really matter. But the Jonathan Majors thing. Yeah, we talked about it on Patreon. We did. Yeah, yeah. I kind of want to bring it up again. The, the Credit like, Scott thing. The Credit Scott thing is crazy. I don't know what else to say about that. <laughs> what happened? I don't know. I just say in those interviews. He also just lost another movie role. He did? Yeah. I saw him with a tucked in hoodie inside his uh jog- jogging pants. Yeah, I hate the way that nigga dressed. <laughs> the thing about I was seeing the ABC movie is just like that nigga is oh it just always seems like he's in like character. Mm-hmm. Like remember, you remember the one thing where uh that he was breaking up a fight? Yeah. And he was like, stop. Yes, yeah, I, 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 I don't think he ever turns that off. The mega I'm I hate if I'm wrong. But th- that relationship seems so fake. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I hate saying shit yeah, like yeah. that. But it's tough, though. Yeah. Like, she around too much to be a new girlfriend. Exactly. Like, That's a lot of baggage. I don't, I don't even think he That's said. like equivalent to, like, a, a girl having, like, <laughs> five kids. Yeah. <laughs> like I don't even think he said. It's just weird that he started dating a celebrity when the court case happened. Mm-hmm. And I don't even think he said. That he he was just like talking about how new the relationship is and like how fresh and how he appreciates it. Like so, y'all not even in love, love. Like y'all won't even put that out there. Y'all not even getting married because you think people that like get together like that mm-hmm. so quick and so fast and they make so many public appearances yeah. and she's showing up to his court dates and stuff like mm-hmm. that. You would think like, damn, oh, they about to. It, yeah, I don't. But it could. I don't know how soon that they were not like, dating. It kind of yeah. like saves his image <laughs> because yeah, because this relationship kind of seemed fast too because. If I'm wrong, I don't know if I'm right or wrong, but the situation, when that situation happened with his, whoever he was with before, Mm -hmm. it didn't seem like that was that far apart before he started dating and making Yeah, but, or we couldn't know. Maybe it just brought up. But I'm pretty sure that, yeah, but But it couldn't have been more than a year though. Yeah, because that event happened. I think that was the the police. Oh yeah, it had to happen because he was arrested. So oh, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so yeah. it wasn't that far apart from (laughs) for you getting into like not even like a a potential domestic uh, dispute. Yeah, she must have like believed everything he said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he had to have some type of proof. Yeah, yeah to show be- Megan, <laughs> like, nah, she is crazy. A nigga dressed like he drive alcohol alcohol across the border. <laughs> <and shit. laughs> that nigga look like a Dominican. Nigga look like he drive illegal whiskey across the border. <laughs> they keep saying that he look like me, Jonathan Majors. Yeah, you said that before. So. I don't think so. I've either. never said he said look, he looked like Jonathan. No, you just be saying some random. You be I saying like say random, uh, a random, random adjective said, and an animal. The one day that's he said, how you supposed to flame. The one day he said you look like a, a pug with a beard was crazy. <laughs> and I'm like, well, where does that make sense? <laughs> because he, look, it's so fun, it's so easy to make he laugh because he has like a 48 hour um, like memory. Yeah, I mean, like he only remembers shit in like 48 hour yeah. increments. That is true. So like once it passed, you can literally take one of his jokes that he said four days ago and just be like. Hey, don't Desmond Bain look like uh, a light skinned T Rex? Yeah. And he'd be like, ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that should be funny, is crazy. Bro. I like authentic comedy, and that's authentic comedy. Oh, you're saying like just the randomness and the creativity of yeah, it? Yeah, randomness and creativity. If I can make you laugh off of saying something that you've never heard before, mm-hmm. that's creative. Mm-hmm. Anyway, let's get to some listener calls, man. <laughs> you look like a seal that auditioned to be a chef. <laughs> See, that's a, that's a nigga, bro. Uh, whether you're looking to spice up your intimate moments or increase your confidence in the bedroom, Joy Mode makes all natural and science baked supplements to helping men perform better across their core functions. So, yeah, you got to stop going and getting them uh, gas station pills. 
Gas station pills, <laughs> the honey pack. <laughs> y'all boys don't be reading the labels on them or nothing. Yeah. <laughs> like y'all, y'all basically taking something that's right next to cigarettes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, All right. Uh, <laughs> whether you're happy or unhappy with your performance in the bedroom, why not perform even better? So make sure to go to use joy mode dot com slash dummies and get 20 percent off using the code dummies at checkout that's 20 percent off and free shipping using the the code dummies and use j-o-y-m-o-d-e dot com slash dummies and now back to the show hello good day mate you all right oh yeah you all right right yeah you all right yeah right. where, where, in, where saying, in the uk dude? where in the uk you from you sound like you're from the, the um, countryside Maybe you could say the countryside. It's called um, Hertfordshire. Hertfordshire, uh, like just outside of London. Okay, okay. All right. Um, for twenty dollars, make us laugh. All right. All right. Okay, I got this. I got this. Twenty dollars. Ah shit! I'm frozen. I can't lie. <laughs> No, I've, I've, I have, I've blocked this. You what? Yeah, no, I'm, so, I'm sorry, boy. I, I, no, I can't do this. Wait, you giving up? My game's gone, man. <laughs> you giving up? Anything, yeah, anything I'm, I'm giving fine. up, man. I'm giving up. Trust me, with that accent, man, you, uh, you're closer than a lot of people would be. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can literally say, you can literally I say, I, I'm telling you, you can literally say, with that accent, you can literally say, it's peanut butter jelly time. And I'm telling you, I would bust out laughing. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, oh. I just get, I just gave you an answer. Just say nah. what I said. Just say, it's peanut butter jelly time. It's peanut butter jelly time. <laughs> It's peanut butter jelly time. Wait. Nah. <laughs> nah, I'm sorry, boys. <laughs> I'll flop this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Yeah, we ain't laugh, bro. We ain't laugh at all. <laughs> it's all right, man. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Damn, that's <was> true. <laughs> peanut butter jelly time. <laughs> That shouldn't even be funny. I literally knew what was coming. <laughs> oh man. Oh. Yo, welcome to Crash Remix Podcast. What's good? Good. What's going on? Good. Everything all right in life? You said what? E- everything good in life? You sound sad as hell. <laughs> yeah, you do sound sad. Oh yeah, everything straight. Squidward sounding <laughs> ass dude. <laughs> hell no. That boy sounds so down. Nah, what's going on? What's your going on with y'all now? Where Mike at? <laughs> I'm right here. I've been talking. <laughs> what, oh, saying, what up? What up? What good? All right, uh, we got a question for you. All right. No, we don't have a question for you. All right, we're, we're doing a challenge right yes. now. So basically, we're doing a challenge, and we're challenging our listeners to make us laugh for twenty dollars. Why did an elephant walk into the bathroom? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We can't hear you. <laughs> All right. He was looking for nuts. Oh, you ruined it. <laughs> Wait, start over. What'd you say? Why did an elephant walk into the bathroom? Why? He was looking for nuts. You tried, man. It's all right. Damn. <laughs> all right. Appreciate you coming on, man. You too. Hope uh, you need that 20. <laughs> Yo. Yo. Hey, what's up? What up? Welcome to Crash from East Podcast. I see how you try to you answer. That's how you that's your private call answer. Yeah. <laughs> you just kind of go hello and hope the automated machine just start talking. Like that. <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> For twenty dollars, uh, make us laugh. 
All right, so this was when I was back stationed in Hawaii. Now, I was talking to this one chick. We was just talking, nothing serious. So what had happened was Valentine's was coming around and she said, you know, what you doing for it? And I was like, nothing. So long story short, I asked her. Now, the crazy part about it was this woman was into some freak shit, like shit that I said I was into, but was just capping. Oh, so you lied. So I get to, yeah, I get to her room and she's in this sexy red outfit. So I'm like, bet it's going down. And I lay in the bed and she ties my arms. So I got a little panic. I said, whoa. But which way you she know, tied him though? Like behind your back, like hog tie? Like uh, to the bedpost. <laughs> oh, like both hands, like the, the classic? She has you on all fours or you on your back? <laughs> on my back. Oh, okay. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, point. Look, look like the pig with the apple in his mouth. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> nah, so she had me tied up, then she tied my legs, and then she put um, a ball gag on my mouth. And it's I'm like, like pig. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Go ahead. This boy is rotisserie chicken. <laughs> okay, go ahead. I, so she said, all right, are you ready? And like, I couldn't talk. So I was like, oh, wait, I've seen this in the movies. I can just move this shit with my mouth. I tried moving that ball gag. It didn't work. That thing was not budging. So I kind of got scared and moved my hands and legs. And the ropes got tighter. And she said, oh, this is exactly what I wanted. And she pulled out a whip like not whip, but like the little flogging things. Wait, was she white? Hitting me? No, she was fucking Jamaican. Okay, oh, good on you. Go ahead. <laughs> so I'm like, as she was hitting me, I'm like, damn, is this what some of my ancestors was going through? Because this shit's fucking Wait, wild. All right, since you were on your back though, where was she? Where is she hitting you? Like my stomach. <laughs> That's why I'm just sitting there, like you know. I'm trying to like move out of the way like a dumbass because I couldn't tell her to stop. And I'm just getting hit. So she took the mouth off and she said, Is something wrong? And I said, Yeah, I don't like this. You know, can we stop? And she looked me dead in the eyes and said, Quit being a bitch and go through with it. So I'm like, Yeah, I'm gone. So after she finished, I sent a text. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Stop. What? What do you mean, finish? Like she was just done hitting me because, like, I, I wasn't, I wasn't going for it. My, my body was shutting down on her, and she kept trying to hit me to Hold make on. it get up. Okay. Oh. <laughs> that boy was glad. That boy couldn't get hard. <laughs> No, I couldn't. I could not. I was like, this is not for me. Wait, I thought when I, she I, she when she told you to stop being a bitch, I thought you were done. Then you let her. So you let her keep hitting you after that. Cause I was still up because of what she was wearing. She thought that I was like. A <laughs> so you let your you let your horniness <laughs> overtake your common sense to get out of there. Yeah, I was like nineteen. I was like, Fuck it. this is never gonna happen again. My fault. <laughs> so I, I couldn't do it. I sent a text to all my friends. I was like, yo, somebody call me. I sent it to the group chat. I said, yo, somebody call me so we can like I can get out of the situation. Everybody in that chat was like, nah, you got this, man. Just stick it through. You good, bro. I'm like, yo, this is not happening. I text my sergeant. I was like, sergeant, can you please text me so I can just like come and report in or some shit? And he said, why? And I took a picture of like the shit she used. And he texted back with a thumbs up and never called me. I was like, this nigga just left me. Wait, so die. you were still trying to look for an excuse to leave after you were done? Yeah, because she, like, jumped in the shower because her whole personality changed back to, like, being... Bro, so again, you're letting your hoardiness overtake your common sense. You could have just left. Yeah, that boy, if, that boy, yeah, you could have just left. No, you were, you were so horny that you almost became a human sacrifice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, she was about to cast a spell. Hawaii, I was dying. <laughs> oh, my God. No, that's crazy. All bro. right, bro. Appreciate All you coming right, on. Uh, hey, thanks for letting me get the opportunity. All right. Yo Yo Welcome to Crash Dummies Podcast What's good 
What's good, my boys? Happy New Year. Happy, Happy New, New Year, Year, man. Late as hell, though. You said what? Late as hell? Yeah, late as hell. Oh, late as hell. I I ain't speak to y'all in a minute. Listen, Last me, time I live, y'all kicked me off. Oh, well, we kick you off. Got to make sure. I don't know why y'all keep kicking me off the live. Why we kick you off? <laughs> I, yo, I don't know. I was explaining the story. I work for a cable company. Oh, yeah, that's and... true. Yeah, that shit, was, <laughs> that shit was boring as hell. <laughs> <laughs> I got a question for you, nigga. <laughs> All right, whatever. Yeah, I remember that boring ass story. All right. The question right. is, would you stop talking to one of your parents forever for $10 million? Easy. Which, which one? Damn you. My father. What, why, why, why? I, I have him, but it's been a minute since I spoke to him already. I, that's easy money. Man, that nigga voice cracking and everything. You all right? My bad. My you, bad. You good. Yeah, I feel you bad, it's, it's been a good, like, 10 years since I spoke to him, so. Damn. Damn. So, 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 I'm just saying, so, like, you will never get to be able to mend that relationship again for $10 million. You just done with him? Oh, shit. I can't even fix it after the fact? No, no, no. Hell no. no. He done. <laughs> Might get that nigga yeah, going for yeah, you. Yeah, fuck that nigga. It's, it's already been 10 years. How old are you now? I'm 22. Damn, he left you since you was 12? Type shit, type shit. It, it was during one of my baseball games. Well, I know him and my mom was going through it, so mm. I I know she kicked his ass out. I don't know what the fuck happened. You I don't hoop? really ask Wait, wait, wait. No, he said baseball. I know. I'm just saying, do you hoop? But wait, wait, wait. Do I hoop? I, I know what question you got. Uh, I know yeah, go the question. Hold on. I got yeah, one question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, did you, what did you bat that day? What that? What I what? Would you bat like? Oh, was, like if I hit at all? Yeah. yeah. Probably not. I was a jit. I was oh. mad young. You no, I'm just saying. You said you was at the baseball game. He left during the baseball game. What did you do at that baseball game? Oh, um, you, I mean, it was just a regular day. He probably just thought I was ass. So I'm just saying, saying. How how were you that, like? That's how I took it. How'd you perform that day? Is oh, one? ass. Are you I, bad? You, that's just, it was photo day, so we was out there for flicks and shit. And you know we had our pictures. I remember the game took place and everything. And, <laughs> and you after ain't, that, that you was the last time I seen him. You ain't playing college either. Nah, I ain't playing college yeah. or high school. Your Fuck pops got shit. a good eye. Good eye. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. <laughs> that nigga don't tell it when he see one. Like, nah. Yo, that is. <laughs> like, yeah, that nigga ain't got it, man. <laughs> the nigga. Nah, I always thought of that. You know, I always nah, figured nah, that was the that nigga, bro. Yeah, for real. Fuck that nigga. Hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What was it? Ten million? Five million? Wait, what are you? You black? Huh? Nah. I'm uh. (laughs) What the (laughs) fuck? Oh, cancel this (laughs) nigga, man. (laughs) Oh shit. (laughs) My bad. (laughs) What cable company you work for? (laughs) How's it just on? No, my bad. (laughs) Just what? That's crazy. What? Oh, man. How's it just gnaw my back? <laughs> <laughs> Apologies, sir. <laughs> no, you're always getting people hyped up. No, that's crazy. Don't blame that shit on me. <laughs> no, that's definitely your fault. I hate when niggas blame And he, he was saying nigga the whole time. What is he? Probably Hispanic or something. Man, that <laughs> shit funny as fuck, bro. Yeah, he definitely Hispanic. Yeah. He said, no, my bad. <laughs> what do you mean, my bad? Oh, yes, nigga. What's going on, bro? <laughs> All right, Pat got a question for you. All right. What's funny, nigga? <laughs> the fuck? Come on, bro. Ask the question. Bro. No, what? <laughs> that nigga hungry, bro. Let me ask the question. Let me try to get back inside. Hey, what part of the meal was you on? <laughs> bro, I, I just pulled up. Actually, I ain't going to lie. Oh, you miss it. Oh, they eat that bread without you. You sick as fuck right now. <laughs> Them niggas on the third basket. Is it? Hey, bro, come on. <laughs> Hell no, <dog>, nigga. <laughs> come on. I just laugh. All right. So if you had to get, uh, so if you had to stop talking to one of your parents forever for $10 million, would you do it? 100%. Which one? My dad, for sure. Damn. Why, 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 why? Everybody did. Damn. Bro, I ain't going to lie. Like, all props to my dad because, like, he did a good job raising me. Like, I ain't gonna sit here and fake it. Okay. Like, he did a good job raising me. All props to him. Sound like some snake but shit going on, but go ahead. When it comes to money, this nigga is Mr. Krabs, I swear to God. <laughs> this nigga, hold on. Hold on. So, wait, 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 wait. So, your dad been there your whole life. <laughs> took yeah. care of you. Took care of you, but he don't give yeah. you no money. So, you're gonna get, you're gonna not talk to him forever for 10 million. 
Bro, listen, let me get into the story so y'all see where I'm coming from. <laughs> All right, so boom. So I was 17. I had to buy my first car, everything, which is normal. I ain't going to trip over Same, that. same. So I bought my first whip. And then I want to say like a year or so later, I got in an accident. You feel me? I slipped on ice, crashed, and hit a median. So he telling me the car total, the car total, he... Like, he was telling me it can't be fixed. So I'm thinking, okay, well, my friend's dad offered to buy it, but he was telling me, like, no, nah, we're not going to sell it. But he was just kept telling me it was total. So I'm thinking, okay, I'm looking for a new car then. So fast forward, this happened in, like, this time last year, like, January 26th of 2023. And fast forward to, like, the first week of December of 2023, I drove over to my parents' house and, um... Uh, I see the I see the car parked out front, perfectly fine, no damage, no nothing. So I'm thinking, hmm. Now I know that this nigga just said this car is not fixable. So why am I looking at it? So then my mom walked out and she was like, "I'm not trying to get into it because she knows it's on some bullshit." Come to find out, he told my mom, "I didn't want her to know about it. I didn't want him to know about it that that it was fixed. None of that." So I text him, I'm like, yo, uh, I seen that the Buick was fixed. Like, if it's okay, can I have the money I put into it or can I come up off the keys? I ain't say it like that, but I I said it respectful, but you get the point. Yeah. He responded and said no. That's it? And I'm like, no explanation or like, no nothing? No explanation, no nothing. Yeah, just said no. Yeah, he, and know, then, he know he raised the hoe. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, chill out, chill out, chill out. That nigga ain't do nothing. Then text it back. Happy New Year. Whoa. <laughs> nah, that a dude. Shit on you, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah where you at? We, we on our way, bro. We getting your fucking keys bro. back. So he still yeah. got the car? Yeah, I'm not paying insurance for the rest of this year. No, 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 no. That's not, a, that's not nothing to brag about. Fuck that shit. We taking this nigga to court. Hey, bro, I've been thinking about You bought about the it, car, right? Yes, bro. Bought Who, the car. He ain't giving me nothing what's for the, it. Whose name's on the title? Well, when I bought it, I was 17, so I wasn't old enough to have my name on it. Mm. So it was my mom's name on it. Oh, so mom's name. Yeah. But your mom don't want to get in between it. Yeah, they got to go to court because you paid for it, right? Yeah. Your money, no help? No help. I was working. I started working when I was like 15 at Kroger. Yeah. I, I was just saving. Hold on. He at Olive Garden right now? Yeah. Man, go choke that nigga go out. That nigga oh, your dad's ass. at Olive Garden with you right now? No, 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 He's not at Olive Garden. I'm about to say. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> say, go beat that nigga ass. Nah, bro. It's, it's like, but I got the respect to not really go off on him like that. So that's why I said I'm going to just keep my distance from him. We ain't got to talk. I told him, I was like, honestly, we ain't got nothing else to talk about. What did he say to I that? Just it at that. He was like, what do you mean by this? And I just didn't respond because I'm like, just just have a just have a screenshot of your car, and every time a nigga uh say anything to you, just send him the, the screenshot of the car back. <laughs> For real. Hey, I'm on me. I'm doing that shit. Go ahead. Like, just like don't worry, we're we gonna get your car back, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or listen, if he asks me, cause like if he be needing help, he be need me to do something because my other brother he lives in Tennessee, cause that's where he went to school at. So he be needing me to help him. So like it's to a point where, hey, if you need me to do some work around the house, you need that. Hey, all that money up front. To me, okay. okay to what I would do, this is just me though. <laughs> I would go steal the keys and steal the car and just like always Let keep that the be keys. That, yeah. yeah, like you gotta come, you gotta come steal it back. That's like, actually what I would have did when I first I walked that. outside. Yeah, I would just mm -hmm. went to go grab the keys and just drove it right out the damn driveway. Bro, he had that bitch blocked in. Oh, oh wow! Damn. But the unblocked, I would have <laughs> drove that bitch somewhere. Yeah. That bitch would been in the grass, something. That is, <laughs> I promise you, nigga, stop laughing, nigga. Hey, <laughs> this shit's go, serious, man. Go grab them keys and take that shit. That's your shit, bro. It's on principle. Me. Yes. Fuck that That's nigga. That's what I'm trying to tell him, but he, bro, he, bro. I ain't no telling no more. We talked enough. Yeah, you already explained it to us, man. Don't let him hold you out your It's about bitch, action man. now, all right? Hell yeah, bro. You spent too much shit, money bro. on that car. Your own money? He just so who, you had, who you at Olive Garden with? Uh, I, I with my shorty. Oh, okay. okay. And you left her to come outside to talk to us? 
Bro, I ain't gonna lie. Nigga, go back inside go back and see what your girl, bro. What the no, fuck? No, 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 hell no. Nah. Go with like your dad. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> I asked her before I walked in. I'm like, hey, the people from the podcast that I be, that I be showing you, they about to call me. So I said, I can either, like, we can go in. And then she was like, because I was like, I can text him and tell him, like. No, she mad as hell, bro. No, go back, bro. Go back inside, bro. Go back inside, bro. right now. She just saying that. You got to start learning to read the signs around people. You know what I'm saying? Don't leave your hey, girl to talk to us, nigga. Right. That's childish, bro. Don't do I that. I got you, bro. Hey, I got some more stories, to, so you feel me, that I can tell y'all niggas. We want to talk. Give me your dad number. I'm ready to call this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hit me up. Hey, hit me up. I got you. No, for <laughs> real. Send me your dad number. I'm about to call this nigga right now. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Don't get scared now, nigga. All right, bro. All right. All right. <laughs> I'll call that nigga dad. <laughs> That'll be funny as hell. Oh, my gosh. d Wicks. Oh. Yo, welcome to Crash Jimmy's podcast. What's good? Yo, what's going on, man? How are you, then? Uh, dude, I've been following you guys since like episode fifteen. I gotta say, y'all are hilarious, and keep doing what you're doing, man. I appreciate that, man. Fifteen is tough. That's a tough number. So you ain't yeah. have to go back and watch that. You started at episode fifteen. I started at episode fifteen. Yeah. What'd you think about the show now from the? Oh, dude, y'all have grown and like personally, but still, like y- you're still sticking to your roots, like. I love the addition of the the listener callers and all that stuff, man. So, yeah, man, you guys have definitely grown way way past since then. But what do you think about Key? Still, oh, Key's great, dude. Is Key there? Yeah, Key's yeah. Here. What up, bro? What up, Key? What the fuck you do, gang? <laughs> <laughs> all, right. all right, not kiss. <laughs> <laughs> What's up with horny ass niggas, bro? Why do these niggas want to be horny? Why y'all, ain't, why y'all ain't kiss? Why y'all ain't kiss? Y'all got the same treatment. Why y'all ain't kiss? Nah, Keys. Who are y'all niggas? Nah, Keys over us, bro. Keys mad at us, bro. Is, uh, <laughs> niggas is sick, man. Ever since I found out that nigga floating the bathtub, he's been mad as hell. <laughs> Yo, Keith, don't let him talk to you like that, man. <laughs> These niggas suck, man. <laughs> that nigga do not touch the bottom of the bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ask the question. Wait, no, fuck that. How did you find out I floated in the bathtub? <laughs> what the fuck? This nigga Yo, one of my is favorite new things horny, though, too, bro. Like, what the Yo, fuck? One of my favorite things is when Pat and Key get like, completely off topic. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is fucking hilarious, man. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I said I found out he floating the tub. I said, oh. All right. I had a question for you. Uh, what is that? If you had to stop talking to one of your parents forever, which one uh-huh. would you pick? Oh, no, oh sorry. Dude. If you had to stop talking to one of your parents forever for $10 million, which one would you pick? I was about to say, I was about to say, yeah, without the million dollars. But yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> no, 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 no. Anything like that. Um, no, that's easily my dad, bro. 100%. Damn, dad what, again. What's 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 up with the dad? Ah, dude. All right, you're gonna think I'm making this shit up. So, for as long as I can remember growing up, um, everything was fine. Like no, no, like I didn't think anything was weird, like with my family or anything like that. And then, like as I was getting older, this man, I started realizing, like, yo, he only really lived with us like half, like throughout half the year, like six months out of the year. <laughs> I was like, like where where do we be going? I thought like there were just vacations and shit at the time. And turns out he's been living like a double life with like another family for like mad long. And on top of that, dude, he we're not even like the first family. He's had a family before us. I came to find out recently that we're not even like the first family. Like he's had a family before us. I'm, I'm like the second or third family that he's had. Damn. <laughs> Wait, so with, with kids and everything? Yeah, bro, kids. Like the last family had like, I think I have like four siblings on his side of the family. And they're all from... How many households are they from? Um, just those four are from one household. He's had there's a fifth one from like before them, and then <laughs> I guess this other one after me and my brother. I think it might just be one. I don't even know. He just be popping out kids like so. Like, like they'd be like Damn. six of y'all in total. I think there's like seven or eight. So Damn. you don't know all your siblings. Are you close with those other siblings? Uh, I'm close to one of them with my sister. And that's it, pretty much. Yeah. Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. That he left. Y'all, he How'd left. you find out? How'd I find out? Mm-hmm. Uh, my sister tracked down 
um, my older brother, um, who she only thought like he was the only like child, and I actually answered the door <laughs> when, she, when she came when she came over, and uh, I she was just like, "Yo, I'm your sister." <laughs> That's Holy crazy. shit! That's crazy. <laughs> so your dad yeah. didn't give a fuck. Nah, <laughs> he's still give a fuck. I think he's in Texas somewhere right now too. Starting another know. family. <laughs> yeah. Hey, one, or, yeah. Of, one of these motherfuckers got to be an NFL player or something. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him <to> keep shooting. <laughs> yeah, he, he gave us no talent, bro. He, he's like five feet tall. He gave us nothing. <laughs> you probably think it's y'all fault. Like, man, he's sorry, motherfuckers. Let me try again in Texas. <laughs> one of us got to. One of us got to make it, right? Man. Oh man. That's crazy, man. Yeah, bro. Anything. You know, you want know to know more fucked up? One. One of the uh, one of the siblings from like the family before me, he adopted her and then <laughs> and then abandoned her. Basically, that shit is crazy. Oh, so he adopted a kid with the girl he was with, and then he still yeah. left. So this nigga, still left. This nigga adopted a kid and left. Oh, that nigga. Imagine, adopted, nah, imagine getting crazy. adopted and, and being abandoned again. Nah. Yeah, that nigga is scratching off a bingo. Having card. a deadbeat dad that's your adoptive. <laughs> Let's a deadbeat dad bingo card. Uh, let's do a deadbeat adopted dad. Adopted dad. <laughs> then I'm gonna make four and lead a ass. Yeah. Then I'm gonna yeah, make yeah, these yeah. two niggas. So you're adopted, yeah. meaning your original parents left you, and then your adopted parents left you. Adopted dad. Oh dad wow, left you. <laughs> that's crazy. Bro. I feel bad for her. Double um, whammy. Then that is kind yeah. of <laughs> that's crazy. That's fucked up. Yeah, got yeah. It. maybe it's her. That's oh, what I mean. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> he said, he said that? pass the line and then he do cartwheels over it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we gotta yeah, check man. on her because you only been left once. There's only somebody here that been left twice. So <laughs> I think she was one of the only few. Yeah. yeah, I'm the type. I'm the type to have like issues, like trauma issues, dealing with that shit, and I need somebody to blame. So I always be mad at her, like, bitch, you running our daddy away. <laughs> <laughs> you not even You're our fault. blood. Bitch. <laughs> oh man! Oh, All right, shit, man. That's funny, man. All right, guys, thank right. you, man. I yeah, appreciate y'all. Appreciate, appreciate you. you. Have a good one. This episode is sponsored by Underdog Fantasy. This app is an easy way to make cash just by making picks on your favorite players. All you have to do is pick if players will have a higher or lower stat total to win while picking between two and five players to build a pick em entry. Underdog is available in more than 30 states. Make sure to support the show and click the link in the bio. Download the Underdog Fantasy Sports app. They will also match your first deposit up to $100 when you use the code DUMMIES. Anyway, thank you for Underdog for sponsoring this episode, and make sure to use the code DUMMIES. Uh, now back to the show. Want to just go until we can't go no more? <laughs> That's a crazy. How is that go until we can't go no more? When it's just us in the studio, that's crazy. That's How? Crazy. I think that's the better situation. Whoa. What are you talking about? Go until you can't just can't go no more. <laughs> You're not about to talk to me like that, and it's just us two in here. I feel like if it was more people in here, that'd be way more awkward. No, I'm just saying, but if you send it to a bunch of people, then it's like, oh, it's a group effort. But you saying just me and you, you talking about going until we can't go no more. Yeah, I'm not with that. People are probably wondering, like, what are we even talking about? Whatever. <laughs> uh, happy Martin Luther King uh, Day. Yeah. Was it? Oh, yeah. Whatever. Well, I mean, let's <laughs> let's just give let's just give my nigga a week. <laughs> right. Happy Martin Luther King week. <laughs> uh, I saw all those memes with um, what's his name? Ant Man. We literally just talked about him. Damn, my memory is getting Ant-Man? terrible. Oh, uh, Jonathan Majors. Jonathan Majors. Bro, my short-term memory is terrible these days. Uh, CTE? <laughs> but Jonathan Majors, I saw a whole bunch of uh, memes with him because of the Coretta mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> uh, thing. Yeah, man. Shout out to Martin Luther King, man. Um, I, great you, great human being. Do you think it's... um? you think every business should take Martin Luther King Day off? Yeah. Because some like, places don't still. Yeah, because they're racist. <laughs> <laughs> That's the re- only reason. Only reason. <laughs> There's no other reason you think. No other reason. Sometimes for you, for you not to take, and then that same company would be like, "Yeah, President's Day we got off." <laughs> like, come on now. <laughs> Martin Luther King is probably more important than all all every president. How how easy do you think it'd be to convince, like, say f- everybody f- third grade and below right now, if we just start saying that Martin Luther King was a president? Oh, uh, you, how, how long would you think to take to for it to be true? The next day. <laughs> the next day. We should just, because should, most of America read at a third grade level. Yeah. So. <laughs> we should do that across all, like, uh, especially schools with majority black people in it. And I feel like that's diminishing him calling him president. 
though. It would be diminishing his legacy. Yeah. Because I feel like every president is an industry plant. <laughs> like <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, I mean they they basically are. They're put in front. Of, like we don't know every president. They came out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. Like out of nowhere, people be like, "Oh yeah, this person that's from Chicago, he cold." Like as soon as the election start, they be like, "Oh yeah, he gonna run next term," and then you hear about him, and then next thing you know, he running. Like we haven't even heard of a new like obviously people that are in politics mm-hmm. have, but watch it just becomes a new. Candidate out of nowhere. There's always a new candidate out of nowhere. Every right. time. Yeah. Remember Wang came out of nowhere. Who? Andrew Wang or Yang? Oh, yeah. Andrew is it Yang. Wang? Yang, Yang, Yang. Is he Yang or I Wang? Think, I think uh, Vera Wang is what you're thinking about, which is like a brand. Andrew is he, Yang. Is he Yang? Yang Gang. Yang Yang. Yeah. Yang yeah, Gang. Yeah. Yang. <laughs> <laughs> he said Yang, he Yang. came out of nowhere. Yeah. But, but he kind of been in the in the scene. No, if you're I'm like in the scene, but, but like, I get you to like the broader people that are not really into politics. Yeah, like that, yeah, yeah, yeah. That that I'm talking about for those people, the people that like, oh, he actually might make it mm-hmm. to the final ballot, and just like that, that person's gonna come out of nowhere. Yeah. Obviously, people already <laughs> some people already know who it is. Yeah. Just like they knew Obama was coming. <laughs> I see a lot of like um, right now, especially like on the shade room and stuff like that. Just sees like a whole bunch of like celebrity breakups right now. Like I feel like. It's just interesting how like invested people are in like celebrity relationships and like yeah. I don't think any of it ever lasts. Mm. And Valentine's Day coming up. So this is the perfect time to break up with your girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Save some money. Um <laughs> but I also think like the like what people are so invested like leads to what we talk about a lot of stuff being publicity stunts. Mm-hmm. Like you can't tell me that Jonathan Major is in Megan Good. No, I'm, just, I'm gonna leave it alone. That's Coretta though. <laughs> Shout out to Coretta. Coretta Good. Oh my gosh, Coretta Good is crazy. Coretta Majors. <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? Um, oh yeah, people have been saying Cam Newton was right all, all along. Oh, it's- about the gang because he called Dak Prescott, Brock Purdy, Tua. Yeah. And did he say Jalen Hurts? No, I think he just said two. Those just those three. Just those three? Yeah, yeah, I believe so. Yeah, he called them game managers, which game managers, if you don't know, is like basically saying like You don't win or lose a game. Yeah, you don't win or lose a game. You like manage the game for what it is. Which is needed on all Sometimes teams. you step up, like the your talent doesn't break the game. Yeah. Basically. And yeah. Dean Bright. I always thought he was right, though. And he even came. I remember when he first said it. He kind of said, "Like that's not a bad thing. I'm not insulting any of these well, guys." A game manager is saying yeah. that you're you're one of the best 32 quarterbacks in the world. Yeah. Maybe you can even be top 10. But he was saying that how elite it was like to be a non-game manager to actually be like a star QB, and there's mm-hmm. only five or six of them in the whole world. Yeah. Oh yeah. Congrats to your, your Detroit Lions. Hey. Shout out them Lions, man. I know nobody 32 know, year drought. This is the <laughs> this is like a funny thing, a meme that I saw, which has nothing to do with any nobody none of our listeners have seen it. Mm-hmm. It's Mike Wynn, our two friends that are, are referees. Did you ever see that meme? Yeah, Mike Wynn and Fat Mike. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I see that they two referees, they the one they was refing the game. Yeah, yeah, it's two of our friends are referees, uh and they ref in Detroit actually, and <laughs> they just that's had a we, picture of them. That's how they how won. We won the game and shit. <laughs> No, but I saw a meme of uh, Martin Luther King in some in like some Lions gear, and he mm. was like leaning on like a blue Lamborghini. And then it was like, I had a dream, fuck nigga. <laughs> this, AI, like, this AI shit's gonna be the no, death of us, bro. Not a hand, yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Like the worst one to me, obviously, is the, the Steve Harvey one. That that one, that AI was so yeah, viral. So weird. <laughs> that AI just rubbed me the wrong yeah, way. Yeah, I don't man. know why. Bro. <laughs> it's like you can really see the pain in his face and that thing. Man. <laughs> I remember, I just want to go back to the old days where AI was just a, you know, an undersized shooting guard. <laughs> I hate this new AI. <laughs> I was wondering, too, um, when, are there, like, when is somebody going to be uh, create the perfect counterfeit dollar or uh, U.S. dollar? I don't think it'll ever happen. You don't think so? But no. you were just thinking because, like, I don't think they're using any sophisticated, like, printer that you can't get anywhere, right? I know, but what you're then what you would be <laughs> insinuating is that the government doesn't have the top technology in its own country, and that'll never happen. Got it. But <sighs> because they'll know what people can do, and then they'll create something on the bill. That's why they keep coming out with new bills. I know. Sometimes I behave when I go to the gas station. Sometimes, and you pull out a hundred, and they start. 
Flashing your shit in the yeah, air. Putting my, the marker across yeah. my shit is crazy. <laughs> give me my fake hundred back. Or the worst thing I hate is when they give you back terrible checks. I don't use cash like that no more. But when they give you like a ripped up one or a ripped up five as change back, like nah, nigga, take this shit back. They, this one rip away ain't yeah. that crazy? Yeah. That if I rip a five dollar bill in half, right, and try to give it to somebody, they'd be like, hell no. Nah. But if I go back and tape it, they just take it. Yeah. It's crazy. Because I think you legally have to accept money like that, no matter what. It's like it's legal. Yeah, that's crazy. Unless you like obviously shred it into multiple, multiple, multiple. What if you like go return it like, hey, y'all see condition this $20 bill? Like, no, I have. I've done that with dollars. Like, no, nah, this is dollars. Give me a different dollar. No, nah, it's crazy selfish. <laughs> conservative. <laughs> what the fuck? Started this narrative. Like a conservative. Yo. Get off my lawn. <laughs> you on the Steph Curry tip. What? The Steph Curry tip. Crazy. You're on Steph Curry's tip. That's crazy. But did you see what uh riding that motherfucker? Crazy. But um, <laughs> who did who said that? What? Um, <laughs> that's crazy. I didn't tell you anything either. I sent you the meme. It was uh they were talking to Maurice Jones Drew about oh. <laughs> being on the. It's just funny how pause moments get caught on TV like let, that too. Let's see. Let's see if I can find it real quick. Um, I, I don't know if it's. So much that the identity of this team has shifted, but this is far and away the best defense that Patrick Mahomes has had, right? I mean, is it possible that they can ride the D? The defense? Okay. <laughs> it's a. He definitely. That was definitely planned. It had to be. Because normally I don't never said ride the D. Like, I've never said that. No. <laughs> I guess I would, hope, even- I would hope I would have <laughs> <laughs> Not just so she was, bro. <laughs> Why are you telling me this? I have never said I would ride the D. Well, what have you said you was going to do with the D? Like, what's going on? Why are you being so specific about the ride part? I never said I was going to ride it, dog. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I don't care how old you get. Pause moments are always gonna be funny to me, for, yeah. especially when like people do it like obliviously, like not knowing at all. Yeah, <laughs> it's always yeah. the funniest. Thing. <laughs> it's such a national television, so you always have to like check yourself a little bit, not to go too like, "Hey, yo," because you can't really say that. Mm-hmm. I was. I mean, the last time I was in church, uh, the pastor had the biggest pause moment ever, and I like. Literally bust out laughing. Mm. And I was in the front row. So I bust out laughing right in front of his face. And he saw me. I was just like, bro, <laughs> nothing I could do. He literally said, oh, Lord, I just want to drop down to my knees and give it to you. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> 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 to give God a head is crazy. <laughs> oh, my gosh, bro, stop. Trying to make it happen. I swear I am. <laughs> Somebody's trying to top off God. It's crazy. Um, <laughs> you don't need that. <laughs> oh, yeah. We, he just uh, wants you to stop sinning. He asked all that. <laughs> my gosh, bro. Stop. Stop. <laughs> stop. Talk about God. <laughs> I know you sent me your son, but send me some dick. <laughs> stop. Stop. Bro, stop, bro. <laughs> mm, is this the body of Christ? Oh, bro, stop, bro. Stop. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I was going to ask this question to you before uh, we even start recording the podcast. Um, is it rude to call somebody out the blue? Bl- is it rude to call somebody out the blue? Hell no. You don't think so? Nah, especially <laughs> if they work for you or with you. Okay, I understand that. Work anytime if you worked with them, I can call you out the blue. Mm-hmm. Um, family member, I can call you out the blue. Anybody, I can call you out the blue. What if you just like met somebody right at what wherever right, and you got their number? Wouldn't you text them first before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was type of yeah. But if I need to call you, it's for a reason. It's all <laughs> about the IQ of the person. Yeah. <laughs> like don't like we in a group chat. You take my number from the group chat and you hit me up at two in the morning talking about. Hey, you know where A bar at? Like, what, nigga? Do I know you? <laughs> I hate when I get the calls and it's like, I hate to sound rude sometimes, but like, all right, why are you calling me? But then you you can just tell when it's like fake small talk. 
they be like, oh, how's, how's your dog doing? Like, nigga, you never asked about my dog. Nigga, what you want? How's the podcast, man? Yeah. <laughs> you guys are doing big things there. Yeah. Like, man, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Get to the point. God damn. Which, oh, you want to borrow my lawnmower? Yeah. You should have been saying yeah. something, nigga. Got me over here talking about TikTok views I'm, and shit. I, I'm like the person that's okay without no small talk. Before you ask me for the favor, I, I under I don't I, think it's rude. Some people think it's rude to not have small talk. Exactly, I'm like it's it's not rude to me. Down like, to the chase. I know if one of my younger cousins called me, like yeah, I just tell me how much money you need. Nigga. Life like, happens sometimes. It's not, you can't always talk about, I but it. I'm the re- person you remember when shit's going bad. Let me say no faster. Come exactly. On. <laughs> <laughs> I already gave you five hundred last week, little nigga. You cut off. Yeah. Sometimes they start becoming part of the payroll. Mm-hmm. Like it's like, all right, man, you gotta do something with your life. That's what I'm saying. I'm gonna start the people. If I ever give money to people, I don't want the money back. I'm no. just start sending assignments, <laughs> and then go clean this house in Ohio. Yeah. You know? I go, open up a cleaning service. Yeah, just start sending you random addresses. <laughs> That's basically what my dad did. What my dad did was uh, basically broke all child labor laws known to man. Oh, that's crazy to say all out. <laughs> what? It's I mean we're older now. You yeah. think I'm, that's, is that considered snitching? What? Saying my dad broke child labor laws? Yes. You, you think so? You always been a snitch though. So. I've never been a snitch. You always been But don't commit a crime around me. That's that's for sure. <laughs> no, that's <very> <laughs> no I, I see, I would never go out my way to tell nothing, right? Yeah. But if you do a crime with me or near me and the cops come and say, Hey, we saw that you saw that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that we saw that you saw that, I'm gonna say what I saw. Okay. hundred percent. You wouldn't? No. Nope. Oh, this nigga lying, bro. Ratatouille ass nigga. <laughs> The rapper, I think most deaf, um, was on a podcast or something like that doing an interview, and the question about Drake's music came up. So here is his is response. Is Drake hip hop? Drake is pop to me, in the sense that like if I was in Target in Houston and I heard a Drake song, it feels like a lot of his music is compatible with shopping. <laughs> Commercial music. Or as, or as you know, music. shopping with an edge in certain instances. Fair. I like Drake's music, but I understand exactly what you're saying. Of course. I mean, it's, I, I, I it's get It's commercial, it. entertaining, fun, it's, good, it's, formulaic music. It's likable. Likable music, yeah. It's likable. Um, but is it... You know, I'm going to leave you alone. We're going to move. We're gonna... I, I think they got... They had beef before that. It was kind of like a... I don't think he likes right. I just don't get. But the thing I, is, I don't understand the commercial part because I don't hear Drake's music. I do in a Target. That's I mean, it. like if I like passion commercial, like his, his passion stu- fruit. Yeah, maybe his stuff's like, gonna play during the, like before the NBA commercial, like when they're doing like the slow replays. And now we're going to the third quarter. But does that make it not? Leaning, leaning so but I've heard like, Ski. You played at a game too. Yeah, it's commercial music. That's commercial. But they're saying. Basically, what some rappers get mad at is that, like, the song gets popular when, when Drake is called by the masses the best rapper currently and sometimes in a, a lot of people's eyes of all time, mm-hmm. right? So they get mad and they go back to the fact that be like, okay, he's not a rapper. Yeah. He makes songs like blah, blah. And then that causes Drake to come out with a deluxe with six songs of him just rapping. Mm-hmm. It's like, I can do this, but you know, this doesn't make any money. Yeah. Like how I'm making. So it's like that same sense, or you could take it from most deaths perspective. Like you should have stayed true to your rap game and I, you can't rap like that. I honestly think it that people say he's not like the his his peers say that he's not the rap because they think he's soft. I don't think that's they, I they honestly, think he's soft. They I think, think so. I just they, think that I think they, they, they look at the, the Then what cause what is rap then? Like no, 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 because, right, cause it's their definition <laughs> yeah. of what rap is. But they're saying, like, okay, if you put out uh, 20 songs and you don't, you only rap rap on one of them out of the 20, they're saying, that ain't rap. That's some type of pop but hybrid. Again, From what, is, what is rap rap anymore? Right. Because people would say Kendrick is a, a rapper rapper, right? Right. But Kendrick makes really good music as well, yes. right? He raps on really good I music. Think, I think that's, a, I think that's I think some of those, a lot of people. I think some of the people, especially in like the older generation sometimes, is like, obviously you guys can rap well, right? Mm-hmm. Right. But you guys couldn't put songs together. And rap to me is not just the skill of rapping always. It's just like, if you're a rap musician, it's about being a rap musician right yeah about making 
a song, a song, a cohesive song that I people think, like. Yeah, I think people don't get that <laughs> delivery is everything. Yeah, I could literally go back in time and take every Drake song and put it out first, uh-huh. and all them bitches will go double aluminum foil <laughs> on SoundCloud. Yeah, <laughs> like I won't sell shit. It's about the delivery. Like when people, people was mad about like the Quentin Fowler's thing. Yeah, like would you listen to ten bands, twenty bands? Oh, Quentin Miller. Listen? Quentin Miller. Why say fo- oh, he said, oh, he said he was going to take Quentin to follow us. My bad. <laughs> Drake Larry. Yeah. <laughs> OBO. <laughs> but that's what I was saying, like, in rap, right? So would you could what people, like, those people in, in their argument, would they consider, like, a battle rapper a better rapper than an actual rapper? No, I think it's still, they got to rap on beat. A lot of battle rappers can't rap on beat. I know, but I'm saying, that's why the, the term of, like, the skill of rapping then comes into me, into my head of, like, what does it mean that he's not a rapper, or does I, it make rap music? I don't just think because, he said it, yeah, I th- I think he's just saying that his songs that are popular, uh-huh. that are on the radio, that are killing it, is not can be played in a commercial or played at Target or whatever. Some that's what he's saying. I, I don't get but it. I just don't get he, it because sorry to interrupt, but he should. But he knows though. He's hating. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Just like he he's like deliberately hating. He's doing it on purpose. That's what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> no, I I get that. It's just you, it, it's I just get, yeah. it's just interesting. It's just, I'm just more trying to just talk about the arc. Not even him at, in a sense anymore. It's just like in in broader terms of like when I hear oh Drake not really the best rapper or this and that. First of all, it's all subjective to what you like and what you don't like. But just like that type of music saying it's not rap just because you make a song and then becomes popular. Mm-hmm. Doesn't make it not rap. It's like, oh, only rap, only rap songs are the ones that are not that popular. No, I get, <laughs> you know, sometimes, you know, I feel like there's tears, mm-hmm. right? I, I feel like if people had argument about tears, there'll be a lot less arguments. Because some people try to, like, argue a great versus a great. And then you got to realize how many bad rappers there are. Yeah. <laughs> And then when you think about how many bad rappers there are or mediocre rappers or rappers that are just okay, then you start to appreciate, like, then you can appreciate most deaf more. Then you can appreciate all these, you can appreciate Joe Budden more, Mm -hmm. right? When a lot of Drake fans start dissing Joe Budden, Mm -hmm. like, out of nowhere, but don't realize, like, there's a million other rappers that Joe Budden, probably more than that, Mm -hmm. that Joe Budden's better than. And there's, like, if you just think about it in tears, that rappers that actually have a hit. Yeah. And just then you, it'll be less arguments and just let, let's talk about these garbage ass niggas. Yeah. <laughs> start pulling up SoundCloud and just be like, he I ass. think a lot of the argument then comes from people who actually have the talent, but don't feel like they're being seen in the same way then. So yeah, that jealousy starts to kick yeah, in. Yeah, because then some people don't know how to respond to like fans and then they feel like fans, like we talked about how some beefs on the internet get started because of fans. Mm-hmm. Like a fan keeps saying it's like, Ice Spice not better than Lotto. Ice Spice not better than Lotto. And then Ice Spice keeps saying that. And then she finally see a tweet and be like, you better stop disrespecting Ice Spice. Like, she not up there with Lotto. Yeah. She like that. And then Lotto see that. And then it's like, all right, why you like that? And then it's like this beef <laughs> that started over people that listen to both of y'all. Yeah. Right? <laughs> so it's just like... Yeah. I don't know, man. Like, I feel like, yeah, it's always like, that's why I think there should be more people like these people that be like, oh, I'm the dot connector and all this stuff. Those people are, should be the ones trying to like, just call this person, like let it get it over with and just have a conversation. A lot of things can be settled with just having a conversation. But some people, people do will, that sh- some people do that shit on purpose. Yeah. And most devs saying that about Drake and if he gets something out of Drake, same thing with Joe Button. The next thing that they do is going to sell Double mm-hmm. what they've been selling, yeah. no matter what it is. Ne- in today's world, negative press creates stars. Yeah, all press is bugs. good press. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for some people, we I don't f- believe that. Yeah, no, yeah, I don't know why. I don't. I don't. All all press is all all types of press is good press. I watched this dude. So it's like this tall dude. I'm pretty sure I already talked about it, but we also got a friend. So I've been watching. Um, Drew Walls, Drew Walls, we went to college with him. Mm-hmm. I know we probably said this 20 times on a podcast already. I mm-hmm. feel like um, this tall dude from that went viral on TikTok for staring at a girl. And then it was like this other person, right? And I'm, and I'm watching these people basically being made fun of so long that they end up controlling the narrative of like now they're like, uh, internet household name. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, it's like, and it started negative. Like, ah, look at this dude. 
And everybody keep looking at them. And then eventually you build up all these haters, build you up so much that the people, the supporters start to leak in. Yeah. Like, damn, why are everybody hating on them? And some people start supporting on you just because people hating on you for mm-hmm. no reason. Especially if you're not doing no wrong. Yeah. And then you create fans. Why it's like the blue face thing. Like, if I can get so many people to hate me, I'll find the people that like me. Because it's it's such an easy, it's like it's a really good shortcut too. To be like, be evil in that way, especially when you already got some momentum going. Because mm-hmm. there's some evil shit that we could do. There's some would you rathers that we could have that would get us some like negative press. But what well, we want that though. Yeah, that's true. It's like, what you gonna do with it after? If you don't have like a plan, like we're not about to sign with Zeus the next day, mm-hmm. then yeah, we ain't doing that shit. <laughs> uh, Crash Dummies reality show. Hell yeah. <laughs> like, why these niggas keep getting in fights? All right. It says uh, Wizards Ryan uh, Rollins accused of shoplifting from Target. Charge, charges come to light just days after he was dropped from the team. Ryan Rollins? Ryan Rollins. I wanna look up his net worth. I feel like that'll be a good look. And do you think net worth is a thing in this to stealing like that in the NBA? No, no, no. I just want to see it before. I would just want to make sure he's not like a two way G League player that's making thirty. You know, because some of them only yeah. make like thirty five thousand. Okay, Ryan Rollins' net worth twenty twenty three was worth one to three million dollars. Yeah, and he was shoplifting. He might. He might just be a klepto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He might, just, <laughs> he might just be addicted to it. But also, uh, one more thing I want to look up about Ryan Rollins that <laughs> I think will be a really good point. All right. Because I think the also Leangelo kind of did that too. And he was a. Uh, yeah, he was a kid with no, there was no NIL deals back then. Yeah. But his. He, he, he was trying to steal some designer. His parents have money though. And and his brother was an NBA at that time, I believe too. Hey. <laughs> I didn't get it. Okay. Okay, I just had to make sure. He's only 6'3". Okay, well, I'm like, if he was 6'8", still ain't like, you just, <laughs> come on now. Everybody already looking at you. Like, yeah. damn, I wonder if he played. Damn, I wonder if dude played in the league. But stealing from Target, though? No, I'm just saying, just, just think about this, though. Right? Uh-huh. If he was, he had tall-ass NBA player. So everybody already looking at him. Like, damn. Look like dude played in the league or something. Damn, he not going to pay for that? <laughs> <laughs> like, everybody already knew, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Like, come on now. Yeah. Like, everybody already looked. That's probably how he got caught. Yeah. Like, some- yo, I used to watch him. Yeah. Yo, why he not paying for his laundry detergent? But some a lot of NBA players are cheap. I'm not going to lie. Some of them are cheap. Like, like frugal with their money. Yeah. Like, sure. I've even been at the like the club with some, some people, and it's like. But you know. <laughs> but you know. Usually, obviously, there's like the the outliers, the people that are just frugal across all walks of life. Yeah. But you know how it usually works. It's, it's kind of like when you see somebody that's like 400 pounds and, yeah. you, and you never see them eat. <laughs> it's like, hey, I know at some point during the day you getting down. Yeah. <laughs> right. So yeah. when you see somebody that's frugal and they have a lot of money. They might not just like what's going on. So they might not. They never like clubbing. Yeah. But they hear and they hear the bottle 600. And you're looking at me like, bro, you make ten million a year. They never would spend the six. They never would spend a hundred dollars yeah. on this bottle if they had it. Yeah. So they don't want it at all. I, I I was gonna say I admire their 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 frugalness, but it's somewhere because I wish else. I, I wish I had that for myself. It's somewhere <laughs> else. There's this um th- there's this uh daycare that my son goes to, mm-hmm. and the owner dresses in shorts, t shirt. They look like sometimes they're like you can tell like their t shirt like vintage t shirts from Target. Some and one shorts like she doesn't wear like flat like it doesn't look like she only you can kind of calculate like mm. how much she charging me mm. and I'm seeing kids uh, that are my son's age in the in the in the daycare so I'm like I know how much you making I can kind of guess yeah and she doesn't wear anything so I'm just like damn like there's no and and they have like a hockey side mm-hmm. they have another building that's like that sells hockey equipment. So I'm like, okay, they making bank. And I just see her dress like that every day. And I'm just like, damn, she ain't got nothing. And I see her pull up in her damn car one day. And I said, God damn. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This big ass Lincoln pulled up. Yeah. Like, God damn. Some people, like some of the richest people I know, they don't even like flex at all, bro. Mm-hmm. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> but it's it they do have a flex. It yeah. just might not just like it might not just be visible. That's why yeah. I'd be like a like the the old we talked about this before, but like the the meme with uh, Mark Zuckerberg. 
wearing, oh, look at how Bill Gates or Mark Zuckerberg dresses. Like, again, yeah. that's like a $500 shirt, plain T-shirt. Yeah. We just don't know because it's not, like, flashy. And even if it's not, they're doing, like, the one, like, he just built a fucking bunker. So, yeah. I don't want to hear <laughs> yeah. nothing else yeah. for the next 20 years. Yeah. I, that I don't, bunker costs $10 million. I hate that little stuff, too, because they use that a lot against, like, African Americans, too, a lot about, like, the... Oh, you're buying this chain and this and that. Even though I do think some people, like especially in the rap world, they do would buy a two hundred and fifty thousand thousand dollar chain before they'll buy property, which obviously. But I you know, let people do what they what their happiness or what they want to do that makes yeah, them happy. That's true, man. Because <laughs> people, some people never had anything. I mean, I've been in the position. I've, I was broke as fuck before, and it's like when they get the money, then I want to go on a spending spree. But like, the, the thing that I always respect about people that are broke is like. They be having the biggest plans. Because I know when I was broke, I had a plan. Yeah, me too. I'm like, bro, I know it ain't forever. And I know I'm not stopping when I get to six figures. Mm-hmm. Like, I know that the my spending habits and the way I feel, I know I need to have a lot of money. So yeah. that's what I'm going to work for. <laughs> but the people I don't respect are the people that stay at a, like a certain level. <laughs> And then a conspiracy theory. <laughs> like, all right, my nigga. <laughs> you work at Walgreens. You make $30,000 a year. And you telling me the Illuminati exists? <laughs> and you got the proof? And then what? <laughs> and then what are you going to do? When yeah. you find out the proof, when you find out I know. that uh that you that Lil Wayne and Drake in a in a new video threw up four Illuminati signs, Bro, what's next? I'd be so tired of that shit. It was, it was just saying about the Yo Gotti thing and whatever his brother what with his brother stuff happened that he was sitting at a game. And his hands were like this, and it was signaling. The, I'm like, come on now. I'm just saying, what, what are you going to do with that information? <laughs> nothing. You're not going to go knock on the Illuminati's door or anything. Like you got to do nothing. <laughs> Illuminati don't even want nothing to do with you, you broke bitch. <laughs> <laughs> they come out the millionaire. <laughs> People talking about, man, I got to, man, I'm protecting myself. Nigga, Illuminati don't work, don't want you. <laughs> You changed tires, man. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with people that change tires, man. Nothing wrong, but it's something wrong with people that change tires believe in Illuminati. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Shit got nothing to do with you, my boy. <laughs> it's not your fight. <laughs> not your fight. Talk about, oh, man, the government controlling Will Smith. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Put the fries in the back. <laughs> <laughs> man, all right. This has been Crash Dummies episode 137. Appreciate y'all. Remember to subscribe to the Patreon. Uh, subscribe on YouTube, rate us on all platforms. Appreciate y'all. Peace. Peace.